Hello, welcome back to another video tutorial here at Geek and Play Studios. My name is Gary Miller. Well, today I found myself modeling this little Lego character for my son. And as simple of a little model as this is, I came across a bit of a uh, modeling challenge and I'd like to share with you how I overcame it and solve the problem. And it is a an extremely good little tip that I think you can use in many future modeling projects if you run across this same problem. And that is, here are the little legs for this character. This black piece up here, these are his, his hips. And with his legs, if I want to pose him, if I want to rotate the legs, with the with the legs default rotation if I try to rotate the legs the thing rotates itself right out of the hip socket and if you're familiar with the reset pivot position tool in hexagon it only allows you to set an object's pivot position on a point you cannot set it on uh, anywhere along an edge and you cannot set it on a face well if I want this leg to rotate properly right about in here is where I want to set the pivot position for this for this object but unfortunately if you come up here right click set pivot set the pivot point and put try to set it right here it's gonna jump to the nearest point well okay then I'll set the pivot point up here and let's see what happens now when I rotate my leg well that doesn't work either it rotates right out of the hip socket so the way I uh, found to overcome this problem is I created a I created a cylinder and used only the top part of the cylinder, the flat part. I didn't need the sides and I didn't need the bottom. Then what I did is I put the, let me hide this face, I put it right here in the middle of this object right where I want the pivot point to be. So now let's reset the pivot point. Now I'm going to set the pivot point right in here. Now I welded this this um, this top of the cylinder to my leg, so it's part of the object. It's part of the leg, and that allows me to set the pivot point right in here. So now, come and look at how uh, look at the hip joint when I rotate the leg. Now look at that; it stays right in the hip joint, and it doesn't rotate out of place. And I have absolutely perfect. Uh, rotational movement for my leg. So that's how I came overcame this little uh, modeling challenge here today in Hexagon and I hope this can help you with any of your future modeling projects. So thanks for watching this tutorial here at Geek at Play Studios. My name is Gary Miller. Have a good day.